Well, did a lot of really good things tonight. Uh, got a great start out of Tyler Jackson. Uh, bullpen was very, very good. It was good to get Alex Schnell uh, back out there. Hadn't been out there since, I think, Florida State weekend. Uh, threw a clean inning, and then we kind of split up the last inning just to get some guys on the mound, let them touch the baseball and face some hitters. Uh, only walked one guy, uh, so pounding the strike zone uh, was definitely there for us tonight and played a really good game uh, defensively. I thought Jordan Green made some nice plays. Grayson Bird made some nice plays in the infield. Um, swung the bats well. Um, had uh, uh, multi-run innings in the first and in the second. Um, had quality at bats out of every guy in the lineup. And, um, you know, Reed Rollman continues to just tear the cover off the baseball. He's maybe the hottest hitter in college baseball right now. And hopefully that will continue. But just got a good production from our lineup. Scored seven runs. Only walked one guy. Pounded the strike zone. And uh, played a really complete baseball game, uh, which was good to see. And uh, hopefully we can carry uh, some of that positive momentum uh, into Chapel Hill this weekend. Well, you know, we played really good uh, tonight in, in the infield. Uh, and uh, that's always a good sign. You know, anytime uh, you're catching and throwing the baseball at a high level and making a routine play, uh, as many strikes as we throw and as, as much contact as we try to create, um, we, uh, we're a pretty good team, so, um, so that was good to see. About Jordan Green? Um, well, I think it all starts with Jordan's, um, uh, his makeup and his confidence uh, as a player. Um, he thinks he's really, really good. I think that's first and foremost. He's a very confident kid. Uh, he's got a swagger about him. He just has, uh, you know, that confidence that you can't teach. You know, it's just something you can't teach. And I think that Jordan came into the program and felt like he belonged from day one. And it's why he's been able, uh, you know, to be our second baseman this year and his second year in the program and played a lot for us as a true freshman. He puts together really good at bats. You know, he's a guy that will take a walk. He's also a guy that can hit the ball to all fields and can do some different things. And defensively, he's just really been uh, outstanding for us. Uh, at second base this year, which is truly where he needs to be. You know, we, uh, you know, just based on need last year, we played him at third a lot. And, um, you know, he's just found a home at second base. He's a true second baseman, and he's done a great job for us. I don't say anything to guys when they're, when they're really swinging it well. I think the key, you know, the key is just, is just making sure he's got a consistent routine every day. Um, you know, oftentimes when a guy's, you know, swinging the bat really, really well, uh, you just want to kind of keep them in the same mode every single day with what they're doing in their pregame cage work, uh, what they're doing in their BP rounds, whatever their focus is and whatever they're doing. You just want to try to keep them within a consistent routine. And, uh, you know, Reed is I – I think the, the, the one thing that stands out about Reed right now is Reed's having a lot of fun, which he should be, you know, when the ball looks like a volleyball coming in there. But – He's, he's just relaxed. You know, he's not pressing at all. And uh, I could even see that, you know, kind of at the front end of this, of this streak that he's on where he's just, he's just seeing the ball really good and, and you know, pretty much anything that's up and over the plate, he's hammering it right now. And I think he's just relaxed and loose and having fun. And, and we just try to keep him in a routine. But I, I don't mess with him. You know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, one thing that I've never been guilty of, I'm not going to overcoach a guy. You know, if he's hitting well and what he does works for him, then I'll let him be him. Coach, obviously a huge top five matchup this weekend at North Carolina. Um, should be a pretty good pitcher's duel on, on Friday night with the Cavs combined. Mm -hmm. what, what do you expect to see from North Carolina? Well, you know, uh, Bukaskis is a guy that uh, is probably going to pitch in the big leagues. Uh, so we're going to see a, a future big leaguer. And, you know, I talked to a scout last night about him at length, and you know, he said this is a guy that you can see pitching the big leagues as early as this summer. He thinks he's that good. I mean, this is a kid that pitches in the mid to upper 90s. Uh, and throws a slider uh, in the upper 80s. So you're talking about a power fastball and a power slider. Uh, so, you know, it's a heck of a challenge for us. Uh, but we just got to gear up and time it up, and, and, and we got to be aggressive because, you know, he's going he's gonna, to he's gonna give you something over the plate, and you got to be on time to hit it, and that's the bottom line. So North Carolina is a very dangerous uh, team because they're extremely athletic. Uh, there's a lot of pro talent on North Carolina's roster. Their lineup, one through nine, is extremely athletic. They can run. They hit and run. They steal. You know, they do a lot of different things to put pressure on the defense. And their pitching staff um, is one that is loaded with stuff. 
with guys that have uh, above average fastballs and above average breaking balls. So we're going to see a lot of really good stuff thrown at us this weekend. So, but uh, we got a good team, and uh, the bottom line is, is we're going to go up there and compete as hard as we can and, and, and see what we can do. You know, we're just worried about game one down there right now. That's the next game on the schedule. And, you know, we're going to try to do everything we can to prepare our guys to get ready for uh, their Friday night guy who's one of the best in the country. And, uh, but, uh, you know, we just got to compete. You know, he, he may run through some innings against us, uh, but, you know, our guys are going to be confident that they'll find a way. And, and Charlie's got to be Charlie. You know, Charlie's got to pitch like a Friday night guy. Uh, to give us a chance, and uh, but uh, you know our guy's pretty good, so we feel good anytime Charlie toes the rubber. But uh, it's going to be a great challenge for us. It's what college baseball is all about: two top five teams going at it, and um, you know it's not going to get any better than that uh, on our end. We're excited about it. You know what? I just think the looser and and the more relaxed we are, the better we play, and uh, we just need to embrace the crowd. I think that's that's a big key for us is just just embrace the crowd and 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 we've done that time and time again. Um, you know, if we play clean baseball, I think that's the key for us is 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 just don't uh, just try to stay relaxed where you can play clean baseball. The more relaxed we are, the more loose we are, the cleaner baseball we play. The better job we do of catching and throwing the baseball and pounding the strike zone. And you know, when we go up there trying to strike guys out, we're probably going to miss. We're going to overthrow. And um, you know, we just got to stay relaxed, execute pitches, and make the routine play. And and just get really good swings off. And if we do that, and if we just play aggressive and carefree, then we're going to be okay. That's going to be my message for this weekend is just, just stay loose, play hard, and have a lot of fun and, um, and see where the chips fall uh, by the end of the weekend. Uh, you know what? I, I, I personally just look at it as this is um, – you know, on paper, uh, this 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 may be the best team that we've played this year uh, up to this point. Uh, so just from top to bottom, pitching, defense, offense, base running, athleticism, this may be the best team that we've played. And that's really all that I I look at it. You know, it's just this. What a great challenge for our team. We feel like we've got a good team, and uh, we're playing on the road against one of the best teams in the country. So it's just a great challenge for us. And, and, you know, the tougher it is, the better we like it. And that's going to be the message this week is the tougher the challenge, the better we like it. Let's embrace the challenge. Let's enjoy the challenge. That's why you're at Clemson. Uh, that's why you're in the ACC. And, uh, you know, if we want to host a regional and, and accomplish those types of things, um, you know, this is, this is what it's going to be like. And uh, so we're, we're going to be ready for it. Um, so uh, we just got to stay loose and, and go compete. First half, it's easier to kind of move some parts around, figuring some things out. But it seems like you settled in with a lineup you really like with Jolly at DH and mm. third at third. Is it safe to say that this is the lineup you would expect to see, uh, you know, barring injury, of course, uh, throughout the home stretch? Yeah, we think so. And you know, again, I'm I'm always going to look at um, the matchup. You know, I'm going to look at okay, who's the starting pitcher that we're facing. What does he do versus left-handed hitters and right-handed hitters? What kind of ballpark are we playing in? You know, what's the wind doing? You know, is the wind blowing out? Is the wind blowing in? How much is defense going to be a factor today? Uh, you know, all those things go into decisions that I make, um, you know, as far as the batting order, who I play. Um, I, I try my best to gather as much information as I can and put together the lineup that I think can win that day. And I try to keep it as, uh, as much the same as I can because I, I'm not a big fan of a lot of moving parts. I think that you want your guys to, uh, to feel comfortable and consistent uh, with, with who's playing and what's going on and kind of understand their role. So, uh, yeah, I like this lineup right now. I think it's a very good offensive lineup. Uh, but, you know, it's, um, it's definitely one that I feel like gives us the best chance to score runs.